Good morning, everyone. I'm sitting in a weird place in the van. That's our heater. It's not actually that cold, but it's cold enough that when I got out of bed and turned on the heater, I was like, I'm gonna sit right here. Because in the winter time, or when it's really cold, this is the best seat in the house. It's actually Frank's seat. While I'm in here making coffee, getting our lattes ready, Allie is out taking Frank for his morning stroll. But I do have to say, I have never made coffee with a backdrop like this. I know in places of Patagonia that we're going to, there's gonna be lots of wind and we're prepared for that. But here, there's no wind and I love it. I remember this morning I like woke up and there was no sound. It was like absolutely quiet. And then Allie's alarm started going off and then I was upset that she set an alarm. But it was really, really quiet and it was really nice and it wasn't that cold. Allie was complaining earlier, it wasn't that cold. It's actually a really nice temperature, so. I think we're in paradise. And I think before the sun gets up too far, I'm gonna try and get you guys a better view. So I think it goes without saying that this is an absolutely breathtaking camping spot. Not only that, we get a park in an orientation that as soon as we open up the door, this is what we get to see. Blessed, hashtag blessed. We're super blessed right now. We are just so overwhelmed with gratitude for one, but also just by this environment. I mean, you hear all the stories, you see all the pictures, but it's literally, I mean, I think I said this in the last video, but it's literally like being in a painting and everything is just like picture perfect. And there's places like that, you know, that I've been to different parts of the States and of Canada where it's just these amazing landscapes, but like there's just something special about it down here. I can't quite put my finger on it. <laughs> is it that it's freezing? <laughs> <laughs> It's crazy because for so many months I was dying of heat. We'd wake up sweaty, we'd go to bed sweaty, everything was just like, don't touch me, this is disgusting. I only want to wear what I, the bare minimum of what I can get away with, just like a bathing suit and a t-shirt, and that's it. And now it's like, how many layers do we have here? <laughs> <laughs> I've literally been begging for this weather for months and months. I mean, I I like it when it's warm, I like it when it's hot, but I really get sick of the heat a lot easier than I get sick of the cold because we don't have air conditioning. We have a heater. So when it's really cold, we can make it hot. When it's really hot, we just have to sweat and it's just miserable. You guys have probably heard me complain about this, you know, along the way. But now, what I think is so crazy is that this is the ocean. We're on the ocean and it's not humid at all. There's, it's not even it's not even a little bit humid. But I don't think this is classified. It, like, this connects to the ocean, but you can't call this the ocean. Oh, really? This is like an inlet bay tributary that meanders for a long time until it gets to the ocean. Ah. Uh, yeah. I wonder if it's salty. Uh, it's really the green. There's like moss and stuff growing in it, so... I believe it's glaciated. Glaciated? I believe this is a glaciated tributary I don't know what that means from a glacier oh all this all this is from glaciers I know what I'm talking about yeah but ooh. <gasps> I can see your breath it's so cold it's like 60 degrees I'm freezing <laughs> it's not that cold ooh. just tell me where you put it this isn't <laughs> funny <laughs> <laughs> Allie doesn't want me to film this because I hid the Nutella 
and Allie is really angry and she really wants to know where the Nutella is. And I'm trying to tell her, you don't need chocolate frosting for breakfast. Literally, the point of Nutella is to put it on toast in the morning for breakfast. I don't, I don't think that's a good Sh idea. Come on, my toast is getting cold. <laughs> I don't know where it is. You're lying. You do know <laughs> where it is. Where did you put it? <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you guys think Nutella is a is is ha. a verified breakfast ha. spread right next to jam. You have Nutella. I think Nutella is chocolate frosting in a peanut butter jar, but that's just my personal you opinion. You bought this. Yeah, I bought it for you to make you happy, not so you can eat it like four times a day. You were eating it with oh a spoon gosh, last you night. Put this in. Yeah, it's really good. Ew, it looks spoon. like poop right now. <laughs> Look at that. That was gross. <laughs> we're gonna eat our breakfast and then we're gonna get on the road. We'll see you guys in a few. I seriously cannot believe my eyes. I'm like at a loss for words because of how astonished I am by these landscapes. And so many people told us along the way, like, oh, wait till you get to Patagonia. When you get to Patagonia, the landscapes, the views, everything is gonna blow your mind. It is pretty cool. We had pretty high expectations. And honestly, the hype is real for Patagonia. If you're considering coming here, I totally recommend it. We're at a loss for words and it's hard to even show you on the camera like what the immensity and the beauty of the landscapes. We're trying our best. We've got about two more hours on our drive till we get to Koyaike. Koyaike, which Koyaike. is uh, one of the, it's not a city. None of these areas have cities anymore. We're into town land, but it's a big town I'm hoping with uh, some opportunities for us to refuel, fill up on water, get some errands and chores done so that we can continue driving through these very remote, very rustic roads. Um, I'm amazed, honestly, that a lot of it is paved. Look at this. This is just ridiculous. That is picture perfect. It might not look like it on the camera, but in real life, that is spectacular. And they're just everywhere. It's crazy. Well, we're almost to Koyaike, and those windmills are kind of a bad sign. It means there's a lot of wind here. So we've been very thankful and very grateful that there hasn't been a lot of wind thus far. All we've heard is that Patagonia is the land of wind and be careful you're gonna flip your camper over because of the wind. Now we have to deal with the wind, but we're excited to be to Koyaike. It's another, I think it's the last big city. Honestly, it's pretty large, but we're here to do some chores. The first thing that we've got to do is find a veterinarian. Ugh. All right, Frank, are you ready for your checkup? It's just like every time we cross one of these borders, we have to go to a vet, get a certificate of health, and then go to the agricultural office to get signed off on that before we can cross the border. Say 
checkups than any dog or any animal I think I've ever seen or met in my life. That was the first time they did the rectal thermometer though. That was a fun one for him. <laughs> he doesn't enjoy that part. <laughs> We're super thankful that this vet could see us and get the papers taken care of, but to be honest, they had no ventilation system in that yeah. building, and the cat and the dog dander. I'm not allergic to cats or dogs, but as soon as we walked in there, it is like so filthy that my nose just like shut off. <laughs> and I was like sneezing, and uh, I was just miserable while I was in there. That's all I'm trying to say. Super glad we're done. Uh, that probably only took a few minutes for you guys, but that took like an hour and a half, maybe two hours of us standing there and waiting forever. And anyway, we're gonna go get some food now. I think we're gonna try some local delicatessen. Is that the right word? Yeah. Cool. I don't believe this is a real thing. It looks like a Dr. Seuss, looks like an elephant mixed with a cactus, mixed with a pine tree. Like if you go the wrong way, that will destroy you. It's almost like a cactus. If you go this way, it's like soft. Literally, a weird can... cactus Christmas tree. If you cut a piece of that off, you could turn it into like a really dangerous weapon. Or at least a really annoying, painful weapon. <laughs> Good things come to those who wait. Look at this gate. It is open. Uh -huh, it's ready for uh -huh. business. Hola. This looks amazing. <laughs> It was amazing, it really wasn't that expensive. I think it was only maybe like $20 for two beers and a steak and a lo and a salmon dinner, almost at a lobster dinner. <laughs> oh, buddy, you're so good. Oh, look at this boy dog. Waiting for your dinner. Oh, it's time for you. You're gonna get your dinner soon. Yes, yes. You'll get it soon, you'll get it soon. We made a ton of progress driving today. It was definitely one of those days where we just really took it in. The drive was crazy. We didn't do a ton of exploring outside, but Patagonia has so much ground to cover that you, you have to just drive through parts of it and really just enjoy that aspect of it. Yeah. yeah. Views are spectacular in do Patagonia. It. So if you're thinking about planning a trip here, or you want to come here. Do it. We highly recommend it. We hope you guys had fun hanging out with us today. Thanks for coming along for the ride. Like this video if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Talk we'll you see soon. you guys on the next one. Adios.